again. Let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the hangman and uh, the three of pentacles. Some partnership might be on ice. We know the hangman is, um, you know, the energy of suspension, the energy of taking a break, the energy of saying, you know what, I need my time, I need my space. Um, and probably feeling like a child a little bit. We do have the page of wands and the hanging man. Right? We are suspended in time. Um, I do love the, uh, the hangman because it is, um, yeah, it is a pause in momentum, but it's also thinking and it's also being enlightened. It's the energy of changing perspectives while being um, away and separated. And um, and the page of wands brought a little bit of passion with it, right? So we saw the chariot in reverse with the hangman, kind of like the same energy, you know, nothing is moving for now, but um, the brain is active. Um, two of Cups, somebody while being suspended in time, we do have the Two of Cups realizes that is, that is love, right? Kind of an energy of saying, yeah, that is separation, but the awakening is to a beautiful love. And we do have the temperance flipping. For some of you, maybe it's um, a Sagittarius. You know, it took a separation for them to realize that was actually love, but that's okay, you know. Uh, the universe is amazingly um, constructed, right? And conceived. The hangman and the four of wands. Marriage, commitment, happiness, kids, um, roots, foundation, you name it, right? Hangman and the six of swords in reverse. Yeah, they want to come back to the family, to the commitment, the happiness and the roots that you put down with this person. A real awakening, honestly, Leo, a real awakening. And of course, here you are, Queen of Wands with the Hangman. Yeah, gaining some perspective, but also a little bit of distance, you know, not bad. Queen of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords. If you are dealing with another fire sign, they feel hurt over here. It's actually the ultimate betrayal with the Ten of Swords. They are suffering because of this separation. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn, or somebody here has a couple of options. A fire sign, which is you, and an earth sign. I mean, it's right here. So, bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Leo, I absolutely love this, and we do have the Nine of Cups in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles, absolutely a new beginning over here. Kind of like the universe, and again, can be guidance, can be your energy, and we let go of something and someone and of a situation of temperance again. Maybe a Sagittarius. Um, it has an energy of releasing. We have two energies of releasing and letting go. Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Swords. And two pages. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. It is communication, but I would um, does look like new beginnings more than a communication in itself. And we have releasing unhappiness, releasing, um, you know, lack of balance, um, and just moving on with an offer. Page of Pentacles and Page of Wands. It's quite a renewed passion. I love this. I love this. So let's see, Leo. You might be dealing with an earth sign too. We have the second time around. Um, earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual in the middle. Or the energy of the connection. We have energies right now, the current energies. And let's have the possible outcome. And I say the third week of November, but you know how it goes, right? Um, you always have free will, you always have to use a better judgment, you always can transform and shift energies with with your uh, free will. So, so let's see Leo, in the past we do have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. We uh, we have that energy of a Sagittarius again, um, might, might have been a Sagittarius and boy it was passionate and it was fast, that's the Eight of Wands, right? And a lot of passionate communication, we know it's all about Cupid's arrows, it's a <clears throat> it is a lot of fire right there and can also be your energy Leo. Um, and it's in reverse, probably uh, you've been away from this person or they've been away uh, from you, but eight of wands, right? Energy traveling fast. Um, fast and passion. So we know we had um, a lot of passion for this person. Now, 
Now this person of yours, they do have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Um, so it might have been an air sign, but I, you have so many energies, it's not even funny. But that that's okay in a sense that this can be the energy of the other person, and it does it does show the energy of somebody very coming in very fast. And and I kind of feel that this connection happened fast in some way, right? We have nights, so we know it's all about action. And I also have pages, so we know it's a lot about communication too. Um, so it's kind of, you know, but uh, then they've made a decision here. Um, Leo, they've made an impulsive decision actually with the Knight of Swords. Um, it's kind of a reckless energy and a reckless kind of no plan, you know, and uh, lashing out and rushing towards something like, you know, whatever happens, happens. And it feels like they might have made a rush decision in the past with the Two of Swords in reverse, right? They contemplated it, they contemplated something for a while and then boom, you know, it's kind of hitting, uh, kind of, you know, the wall. Um, there and I and I feel that uh, all this um, suspension in time and holding on and hiding and protecting became actually, um, you know, um, a weakness. I would say, right? So mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the three of pentacles and we have the hermit in reverse. Um, it's interesting, right? Two different energies. One is the energy of partnership with the Three of Pentacles and, um, um, you know, willing and wanting and probably building something solid and being serious about. And then we have the energy of the Hermit in reverse, you know, and if upright is all about wisdom, it's all about patience, it's all about lessons in reverse, it's a little bit of an impulsive energy where nothing that was learned was also applied, you know. Um, can be a Virgo, by the way, you are dealing with, but I kind of feel two different, uh, two different energies. One of passion, one of thought, right? Um, one of, um, one of rushed, uh, maybe not applying all the lessons of wisdom and one, you know, kind of building brick by brick by brick with the three of pentacles. And, um, and I kind of feel, Leo, probably that's your energy where we started something, um, what we believe, pages, right? Well, we start at the bottom, right? Um, but then, boom, we have the Eight of Wands. So I'm, I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of a mixed energy <laughs> over here. So, Leo, where are we? We do have the Six of Cups. You know, it's the only energy I don't read in reverse and the King of Wands, which is you. So we have you remembering this person, we have you living in the past, we have you uh, seeing the conversation, we know how Six of Cups is, right? Um, but it's also the energy of soulmates, it's the energy of love, it's the energy of connection, right? Um, it's the energy of reminiscence about the past and living in the past a little bit. And maybe that's um, what keeps us, um, you know, upside down over here. You have both energies actually in the past and in the current. We have you upside down. I don't want to say lacking passion. I don't think we are there, but just a little bit, you know, um, not being up to speed um, at this time. And we shift towards cups, which is, um, you know, kind of a, a, a shortcut, I would say. Now, this person of yours, they have the Knight of Swords again. Um, maybe a Gemini Libra or Aquarius you are dealing with. And then we do have the star, which is Aquarius energy. But I don't feel... I feel that somebody made a rush decision and now they are rushing back to heal a situation, uh, to align and have wish fulfillment. Um, this is the energy of saying you are their wish fulfillment and they want to align and they want to heal and find a solution. They want to compromise. We know it's the energy of spirituality, it's the energy of silence and um, finding wisdom in silence and in the dark uh, with the star, right? We know it's... Um, um, it's a beautiful energy of healing through the night and um, the thinking, right? And in dark times, by the way, the wisdom that comes with it. And mutual energies between the two of you. Um, Leo, that is this Queen of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. Somebody needs to make a decision, either about another person, either about stability and uh, finances and money. Um... But we do have three different energies. We do have pentacles, we do have swords, and we do have fire sign. Um, 
So that is a contemplation, that is a two of swords, that is something you know, that is something they know, and that is something that a decision needs to... It's kind of like both of you need to make a decision about um, and finding a solution to it. So again, can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the two of you, but can also be, um, you know, a decision about stability, the, the type of stability we want to have, the type of roots, the type of nurturing, the type of love, and um, and so on and so forth. But good intentions, I would say, from this person. Um, the outcome of this, I'll Leo, we do have the death. So, um, might be an ending for some of you. This is definitely an ending and moving on. And I love this because we do have the chariot in reverse cancer energy, but this is about the stagnation is over, right? That's a death with the chariot in reverse. We finally see movement. We finally see transformation and this might be the end, but it brings movement, success and moving forward, right? It is the end of a stagnation period here. And I say that because your overall energy is really releasing stagnation, um, right? Uh, releasing yourself from the prison of the, you know, from being a, the prisoner of your own mind, the lack of balance, and we move towards new beginnings. You have three new beginnings here, so I do believe that it um, it's kind of over, Leo. Now this person of yours. And it might be you saying this is over, you know, because we do have the death on your side. Um, and it comes with a beautiful energy of um, finding yourself, you know, or, um, you know, this energy of I finally can do what I want with the chariot. So while you decide, this person of yours, they are so hurt. The judgment in reverse and the ten of swords. Uh, but somebody made a decision here. Judgment in reverse is actually a misjudgment or, or a lapse in judgment. It's a bad decision. Um, and then it's paired with the Ten of Swords. So whoever made a decision, it comes with a lot of pain, actually. Um, and realization and endings, too. Um, and I kind of feel that it's a, it's a different type of ending, right, Leo? On your side, it, it has transformation and growth. And on, on their side, it has a, a bit of pain. Um, mutual energies between you and your person. We do have the King of Cups in reverse and we have the Four of Wands. Um, so, right, being very emotional about the, the energy is extremely emotional about this ending. You are there. Um, it has potential, right? Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands. It has a, a lot of potential. Now, I'm not going to lie. Between, for some of you, Leo, between you and your person, that is someone with a Four of Wands. They might be living with someone. You might be living with someone. That's a Four of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, in all honesty, it has a sense of family or someone between you and them. Kids involved for some of you, right? And uh, and for some of you, it's simply it's simply you saying goodbye to someone that we uh, that we really loved, right? And um, and letting them go, let letting them uh, be free and happy, right? And uh, kind of minding our business um, and happy and having new beginnings here. One, I mean, three energies of new beginnings, you know. So acknowledging we have feelings, but then. You know, kind of time to let go here. Um, sleeping in the bed they've made. Something like that. And it's so painful. It's a rush decision twice. They are rushing out. They are rushing in. And they are hurt by whatever it was done. Um, let's ask for some guidance, Leo. Um... Right? Who am I to say, please run in the opposite direction? Because impulsiveness is never a good thing. But hey, who am I, right? So let's see. We do have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, yep. I kind of feel the guidance there. But let's have another one. Might be just an acknowledgement that, oh yeah, I took two. So two wanted to come out. So we do have separation, we do have past life relationship, you have known each other before, and we do have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And bottom of the deck we have deception. 
someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so we are we have separation and deception so somebody deceived us so it's about time we move on and yeah might have been an engagement in the past might have been a commitment a promise of some sort um past life we know it's the energy of soulmates and twin flames and however you um identify right but at this time that is deception and separation I don't feel you are, um, you know, uh, we don't have a guidance just yet. We're, we're going to we're gonna look deeper into it, right? But it's just acknowledging that was deception, that was separation, but that is also a bond with this person. So we do have the garden. We know it's all about your inner world, your self-protection, uh, being, you being secretive at this time and not letting go what's going on. We do have emotional freedom, Leo. We need to break free from this person. Now the guidance is way more clear. We do have um, resolving conflict. So for some of you, having separated with a form of um, harsh energy, blocking some energies and some energy flow with conflict, we need to find a solution and we do have dating. So you are guided to open up to dating and meeting other people. And bottom of the deck, we have consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So that is something we need to look into. So Leo, I don't feel you are guided towards this person and the energy coming your way is the, is the death. Scorpio energy and they have the Ten of Swords. So this is over. It's a painful over, but it's also, um, you know, it's a situation that is very deceiving. So... So we better come out of this um, as quick as possible. Uh, we, do we do have regret. So somebody, <clears throat> somebody has regrets over here for what happened. So that I know that I cannot change the past. Leo, if you have regrets about this, you are guided to release all this. Um, and you know, and, um, and manifest acceptance. We do have success. We have emotional freedom and success. I know that that is no greater goal than love. So we let go of whatever um, entanglement we had with this person uh, without giving up on love, right? I know that that is no greater goal than love. Resolving conflict, we do have service. I feel good when I can help others. Uh, Leo, you are guided to, um, to be of service to others. Um, right? Occupy your time. Be kind. Keep the, uh, the energies flowing. We do have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So we are not above, we are not below, we are just like everybody else. And we do have bottom of the deck individuality. And I feel that you are guided to stay for, for this time being, right? To be yourself. And, um, don't rush into a relationship. It's individuality, right? You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Okay. I know. I know, right? I know. So let's have some general guidance. I know it has nothing to do with love. It's more of life purpose and, and, um, and so on and so forth. But um, let's have a couple of them. Why not? Okay, let me see. Good. What else do we need to know? We have relationship. So your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal and balance a relationship, then um, snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your so shall your other relationship bloom and prosper. I know, right? Hmm. It is it is religious, I'm not gonna lie, and for some of you we know we are all spiritual and less about religion, but that is we are the product of a creator. Um and right, we accept and we get closer and we solve the um the lack of love issue here. Blessing in disguise, Leo. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayers. 
you'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayers in the best way. So maybe Leo, at some point you had struggles with this person and you asked for an answer of some sort. I kind of feel that the universe is saying, but what do you want more? I answered, you know, this is what you asked for. This is what you have to have, right? Or something like that. And we have justice for some of you going through. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Leo, justice, your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Wow. Maybe I'm picking up the energy of a lawyer here, uh, um, but I kind of feel I kind of feel that this is just fair and just whatever is going on. It's a blessing in disguise, and it is just fair, and it has to happen, and it it comes to balance the scales and get you closer, um, you know, to uh, whoever you need to get closer. It's also an energy of self love relationship right how can we love other um other people if we don't love ourselves and i feel that that is an energy there right you'll be at peace when you start loving yourself um so leo this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i wanted to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care